And sometimes it's about just a little tweak on some songs, and some songs you completely need to completely rework them. Um, I think that's what the value of pre-production is, because you can explore the parameters of a song. What's it like fast? What's it like slow? Whereas the optimum spot for the tempo, is it going to be better if we bring the chorus in a different place? You know, do we need to set up some tension in this section to deliver a drop for the chorus? It's all thinking about all the things that make a song exciting and great and um, dynamic as well. So it's much better to do that out of the studio because if you're doing it in the studio, you're wasting time and it can cause a stressful situation where you're worried about, oh, have we got enough time to do this right? I think if you do that all in pre-production, uh, when you get in the studio, it's just the fun stuff, you know? You're just making the sounds and having a good time, and, and that's really a really positive thing for the final outcome. There'll be more to be done in the studio, because once you start recording, things become more clear, and you realize more things about the songs, but um, yeah, your producer should certainly be helping you with any weaknesses in the songs, or if they think the song's missing, or um, all those various aspects, but it's very different case by case. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you might just get a guy come in and just he's, everything's there and you just record it and it's great, you know. But, and then other bands, you might need to spend three, four weeks in a rehearsal room before you're even ready to, to go in the studio. But it's very case by case. There's no definite, you know, this is the way it should be for every band. It's just each act, it's different.